I said we are going to the mighty name of Jesus. I decree by the power of the Lord that people in this meeting, the Lord shall open our heavens for favor in the mighty name of Jesus. In this new month, our life shall be transformed forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever be your problem that brought you to this house, I say it shall be dissolved by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We do God all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Praise God for the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Um, you're welcome to Pastor Shinabu Shinabu. You can take your seat. And, uh, and, uh, I don't know why you're worried, but I'm sure you have not subscribed. I want you to subscribe. And you can like, make your comments. What the Lord has done in your life as a result of this program. We see a lot of WhatsApp messages, a lot of text messages. And we want you to, to share with us what the Lord is using this program to do in your life. We are blessed forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I quickly want to pray with us. And I want to share with us and pray a lot how you can open doors of favor. Doors of favor. There are many people you have tried. You have done so many things. In order that you could be favored. But alas, <laughs> you couldn't make it. The more you tried, the more you failed. But I decree in your life today that the story has changed in the name of Jesus. I said the story has changed in the mighty name of Jesus. Shout fire! Shout fire! Amen. So this morning I think I want to share with you, as I share with you, and we pray together. And you don't see that your life will be transformed. Amen. And by the time you come, next time you come to the service, possibly during the week, or uh, even on Sunday, you will be among those people that you identify of the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want to tell you, I won't be defining people, but I will tell you what people can do. I will tell you some of them. What can favor do? What are the benefits of favor? You have labor, 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 labor. See everybody hustling, hustling, hustling. Day in, day out. Everyone stressed. I tell you to look at somebody that is merely because of stress, hustling, hustling. I said today, my God will replace your labor with favor in the name of Jesus. So what are the benefits of favor? Favor will produce supernatural increase and promotion. Supernatural increase and promotion. Favor will promote your life. We saw in the life of Joseph in Genesis 39, if you read from verses 2 to 6, the display of favor in the life of Joseph. Even when the young man had been sold, he was not the eldest. He was not the eldest. But the favor of God was upon him. He was sold in the slavery. They thought that it was all over for him. But favor brought him up again. I don't know whether you are here this morning. And the thought is all over for you. I say the Lord God will bring you up. I say the Lord God will bring you up. Maybe some people are already looking who will marry you. I say you will marry the father. Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah. Who 
and with man. So, when you are able to have favor with God, and you have favor with man, stress will be out of your life. That is why today, I know, as your enemy is now, I see the of God entering into your life by fire.
Now today, I'm fulfilling. I don't know the miracles that have been performed in your life, and yet you are still held down. I don't know what kind of drugs and what kind of uh, you know tests and tests and things like that that have been done in your life successfully, and they said there are some people they will not even diagnose anything. But you, you know that the problem is there. That the problem is there. The testimony you are expecting, you are not seeing it. You are not seeing it. Why? A power held them down. A power held them down. And Pharaoh was unable to manifest. In the, the children of Israel, they were there in Moses. They were strong. And Lord said, go and get a lamb without perish. By the time you sacrifice this, then apply the blood. Apply the blood. When you apply the blood, you will see what will happen to the enemies. So the blood of Jesus will release judgment of death over all the enemies that are holding. And somebody was uh, sharing a testimony I want that like that. The lady was married, no child. The young girl married and had uh, almost as uh, finished having all her children. And yet, did not conceive. And the baby, the stepmother died. When she was able to pray. When the stepmother died, it was then that she learned that she was the one that took her part to own a fetish daughter. As that same month that woman died, that was the month the lady took her. I said, everyone that was for you to have testimony, I said, let the blood of Jesus kill them. You didn't hear my prayer. I said, let the blood of Jesus kill them. In your father's house, let the blood of Jesus kill them. Let the blood of Jesus kill them. Let the blood of Jesus kill them. In your mother's house, in your mother's house, wherever they have said you will not have testimony, in the place where you are walking, in the place where you are living, when they say you will not have testimony, everyone that must die for you to have testimony, let the blood of Jesus kill them. And the bowl of the butcher's dress of silver. Uh, let me start from uh, verse 33. Amen. And the butchers were urged upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste. For they said, We be all dead men. You see, 430 years, they had them down. But this is an unknown, this is urgent assignment. By the time 
the blood of Jesus appear. I say it becomes urgent that they must be released by fire. Every time the blood appears, urgency comes to the situation. The problem of your life pressure. I say in the record of heaven is now urgent in the name of Jesus Christ. And for me, 
on the cross of Calvary. So some people will say, oh, hey, if Timor is divine partiality, God is not partial. In John 3, 16, he says, if you believe, whosoever believes in me, we not do what? We not perish. So, anybody that believes will be favored. Anybody that believes will be favored. In Psalm 5, verse 12, he said, For thou will bless the righteous, who will he bless? The one that believes, the one that believes in the sacrifice that Jesus has done for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us. He died for your sin. He died for my sin. Do you believe it? When you want something extraordinary, generational want something extraordinary, generational favor. The favor that is not uh, okay, he raised on the righteous and the unrighteous. It's not shines on the righteous and the unrighteous. No, we are talking about that kind of favor. The favor that uh, you know, uh, what do you call that? A Mary. The favor that Mary got. The righteous. You know, it was Rahab to not get that kind of favor. It's not the one that is not for backing. So if you are not yet the backing, you can't get that favor. And among backings, there are backings. So you want that kind of favor. It's for you. So God is not partial. There is nothing anybody can have that God cannot give another person. God is not a respecter of person. He is not partial. Your family background is not relevant. When it comes to getting the favor of God Almighty, do you know that we are too concerning Nazareth? We are very out from that nothing good comes out of Nazareth. Nazareth said, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Jesus came from there. That was where Mary came from. You can imagine that kind of a, you know, a, a generational partner that was upon her. And look at the name. They call the name Mary. That is bitterness. But the Lord God came upon her. I said, if you can say a good amen this morning, I should believe what I'm talking about to you about now. I said, whatsoever be the from your family background, I said, the kind of favor that will come upon you now will bring you out from the bar and put you in front of the name of Jesus.
the level. Nothing to show. Nothing to show. I don't know if you are here today. The people of God is coming upon you. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And the blood of Jesus landed. When the blood of the Lamb, without blemish, landed, the situation was settled. So when you believe in the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb without blemish, the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you on the cross of Calvary, you should have died for your sin, but He died for you. So who is making charges against you? Did they die for you? Anyone that is accusing you that did not die for you is not qualified to accuse you. So I don't want, I don't, I don't mind whatsoever accusation that is over your life by the wicked, the wicked, the awkward. I say I glorify them now in the name of Jesus.
Amen. Praise God.